Well, yeah, the surgery took place here at the University of Maryland Medical Center on Friday. The man has terminal heart disease and he's not eligible for a traditional transplant. So far, doctors say he's doing well. The seven hour operation is the first of its kind as surgeons try to save patient David Bennett's life by replacing his heart with a genetically modified pig's heart. It's not a sure thing. There's no guarantee that the experimental surgery will work, but the 57 year old has survived three days so far and it's given the medical community and his family hope that a decades long quest to be able to use animal organs for life saving transplants will be successful and help many more people in the future. It's a life or death scenario for Bennett, who was ineligible for a human heart transplant and had no other option. According to a statement provided by University of Maryland Medicine, Bennett said a day before the surgery, it was either die or do this transplant. I want to live. I know it's a shot in the dark, but it's my last choice. I look forward to getting out of bed after I recover. Other attempts at this type of transplant have not worked, mostly because the patient's bodies rejected the animal organs. In this case, the pig underwent gene editing to remove a sugar from cells responsible for organ rejection. David Bennett Jr., Bennett's son, said in a statement to the Associated Press about his father, he realizes the magnitude of what was done, and he really realizes the importance of it. He could not live, or he could last a day, or he could last a couple of days. We're in the unknown at this point. And so Bennett, of course, is being carefully monitored over the next few days and weeks. Uh, one of the surgeons said today that the team is cautious but optimistic that this will be a new option for patients in the future. Reporting live at the University of Maryland Medical Center, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.